Well, you're a bit filthy. Time for a rehouse. <laughs> In a previous video I explained how I went back to a more bioactive setup for my glowworms and feeding them more live snails. Was it worth it? Let's find out in this rehouse. Well, the first thing that's apparent in comparison to my only sponge cloth setup type is that it's a bit more work to pick them up one by one from the substrate and you can never be sure that you have picked them up all. So I always save the substrate for a search for larvae that I didn't see. But um, it works in this way also. Dump them back in and the new one. And one by one an old enclosure is emptied and a new one is prepared and filled. Oh, this one's in a pre-mold and I guess it will pupate very soon, most likely into a male, judging from the size. Springtails galore, that's nice. What's not so nice is that with the return of the more bioactive setup, also mites returned and I found them uh, clinging to the heads of some larvae, like this. Um, yeah. In this enclosure there were also some worms. Well, and of course I don't have to tell you about the fungus gnats. Uh, they are always very uh, prevalent in this kind of setups. I support people can relate, I guess. Yeah, this enclosure also had some trouble with unwanted inhabitants. Um, Contained in this enclosure are also all the leftover eggs and that still seem to show signs of development, which is a common phenomenon in my uh, glowworm culture. Some eggs seem to be very late, but uh, I will save these and see if they might still hatch. And there's one larva left I didn't see at first. Those are the eggs I saved. It seems in this enclosure there was also a bigger mite problem. Uh, however, in the past I never had uh, the impression that they were actually harming the larvae. They seem to be phoretic mites at most. And uh, you can see them perhaps clustering at the head and antennae of the larvae, like little bumps. Not so nice, but uh, not too much of a problem, I think. There, it has happened, a larva in the discarded substrate. It goes back in with the others. So, those are the fresh setups and in order to prevent the further spread of unwanted inhabitants I taped down the cotton pads over the air holes more tightly. And I also wash and quarantine the feeder snails with even greater care. So far I am rather happy with this setup. Um, changing the substrate is uh, more work, but it's uh, less often needed because of the nice work of the springtails and I think um, the smaller group sizes were also very beneficial to the well-being of my little glowworms.